It's just days away. Airport travel is picking up. Today is the busiest day of the Christmas season at Eisenhower. And that's where we find KSN Zena Taher live from Eisenhower with a look at those travel numbers. Zena. Jeff, 3,000 people expected to travel through the airport today. Airport spokespeople say that they're expecting flights to be pretty full today. And it has the largest number of seats scheduled in the season through New Year's. That makes it all the more important to remember what you can and can't bring through TSA. We all know about the rules around liquids and weapons traveling through security, but there's one more thing that's important to remember during the holidays. Do not bring wrapped gifts through the checkpoint. Uh, TSA will unwrap them, so you don't want that to happen. Valerie Wise is a spokesperson with the Eisenhower National Airport. She says that things are going to slow down later this week. Christmas Eve and Christmas Day are expected to be the slowest days for air traffic. Then things will start to pick back up again as people go back home around New Year's. Coming up at 5, we're going to talk to a young Wichita who's traveling all the way back to Guatemala to celebrate some Christmas traditions with family. Here for you, Zena Taher, Case and News 3. All right, Zena, thank you so much. Well, millions of Americans are flying from now until the beginning of the year and today is the busiest day of the Christmas season at Eisenhower National. Case and Zena Taher is live there tonight. Zena, not just adults braving the crowd today. Jeff, the girl I talked to, her name is Yesenia Chinchilla. She's one of 3,000 people flying through the ICT today. She's only 10 years old. Her dad was helping her get her baggage in earlier today, but she's making the trip by herself to Guatemala to see some extended family there. Yesenia says she's never been to Guatemala on Christmas. She's excited to participate in traditions for the 10 days she'll be there. She says they do the holidays a little differently. The, the only thing that I heard that my, what my grandma said is she said that we celebrate fireworks and other stuff, um, but they don't give presents. Yesenia says the focus is all on spending time with family. That's what she's most excited for anyway, seeing her baby cousin. She keeps a picture of that cousin on her phone's lock screen. And Yesenia has been waiting to see her since her last visit over the summer. As for how travel's going on here, it's been going pretty smoothly and there haven't been a lot of delays. There was a plane from Denver to Dallas that was diverted to Wichita because of a medical issue, but that plane left shortly after landing. Coming up tonight at 6, we'll We'll talk to one man who's getting a warm welcome home after being away for months. Here for you, Zena Taher, KSN News 3.